Welcome back to our channel. We are very, 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 very excited because we're going to share with you the details of our trip, which is in five days of, as of the recording of this. Yes, and Monday. So today's Wednesday. We're going, we're flying Monday, but the day this goes out will be Sunday, so we will already be at Heathrow Airport waiting to go. We're so excited. So we were originally going to go back to Walt Disney World but we missed the cut off for the dining, dining credits credit, for this yeah. year because of my stupid way my annual leave works. So we thought, what the heck, we wanted to go back to California since we went to California, so let's just go back to California. So that is exactly what we're doing. Yep. But we're doing it better. We're going for longer in places and we're doing so many things that we've never done before, haven't we? Oh, everything we haven't done before, really. Except for San Francisco. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. But well, San Francisco is just a cool city, so we're definitely doing the, the same again. Yeah. So we're going for 18 nights, uh, flying from Heathrow into San Francisco, and then flying from LAX back to Heathrow um, when we are done. So we've got three nights in San Francisco where we will be attempting to cycle across the Golden Gate Bridge. We will be. I say attempting because we attempted this in 2016, but I had a panic attack, probably the worst one of, I think the first one I ever had in my life. A proper actually. one, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like full blown, couldn't move. There was reasons though, only half the bridge was open, so all traffic was on one side, and all the, all the footpaths of people were on one side, so you couldn't really ride your bike, so it was, it was a bit hectic. So I'm also terrified of bridges. <laughs> so that doesn't Well, heights, which includes big bridges. Big, Big bridges, yeah, big bridges, don't like them. Um, but that's what we're doing. So we're gonna cycle across the Golden Gate Bridge. We're gonna do like all of the touristy stuff. We didn't go to Hate Ashbury last time, which we're full of regret about because it just looks amazing. So we're gonna go there. Yeah. We're gonna eat as much Chinese food as physically possible from Chinatown. Yeah, get some dim sum from yeah. little tiny places. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're probably gonna go to the Pixar Studios. We went there when we went in 2016. It was just really cool just to stand outside and like just take it in for posterity absolutely yeah, yeah. Um, and then the day we leave San Francisco we are going to the Walt Disney Family Museum of course um, and we're gonna go to the Yoda fountain outside and it just feel like a magic which we didn't do last time did we no and then from there we're driving down um, it's only about 40 minute hour drive to Santa Cruz where we are literally just gonna chill and enjoy so Santa Cruz is like the coolest beach town <sighs> in the entire world like if you like the likes of like you know like Blackpool and like all these little beach towns in Wales Santa Cruz is like just so much better so we went there we literally stopped there yeah. and had food and we were probably there about an hour and a half and we were like we need to go back to Santa Cruz so yeah. we're spending the night there um, and <clears throat> the next day we drive to Monterey again it's only about an hour away if that um, but we're going whale watching in Monterey um, where every day they're seeing humpbacks the humpbacks are breaching they're lunge feeding they had orcas there last week i'm very aware we're probably not going to see awkward or orcas um but we're very excited that we're going to see humpbacks aren't we i can't wait i can't wait they, on a very <laughs> rare occasion do you see a blue whale if very you see rare. a blue whale i think my head will explode if i see an orca I, my whole body would explode because like i love whales i love orcas i love sharks 
So if I saw like a great white, which we're not going to see in Monterey because it, it, they're just not going to be in the Bay Area, um, I would freak. Wales, I will, I'm pretty convinced I'm going to cry, but if I saw an orca, I think I would literally explode, like actually explode. Um, so then we've got to stay in the night in Monterey. We'll see what time we've got. We might pop over to Carmel and have a little mooch around there. Yeah. And then go back to Monterey and just explore. They've got like um, like a little version of Fisherman's Wharf. I think it's actually called Fisherman's Wharf, isn't it, as well? It is I think, it? yeah, so we'll be doing that. During all this, by the way, every day, we've got food planned. We'll vlog the food. Yeah. It'll all be... We've got did lots of different stuff all yeah. planned the yeah. whole time. So there's this place we went to for breakfast in 2016 in San Francisco and I've literally been dreaming of this place for the yeah. last eight years. I think we went for three like three days again last time and yeah. we ended up being there twice. Twice, yeah. So, good, so. Um, can't wait. But anyway, so from Monterey we're driving down to Morro Bay. Um, part of Pacific Coast Highway is actually closed. I think it's a two mile stretch of Pacific Coast Highway is closed, which means we can't drive down Pacific Coast Highway from Monterey to Morro Bay. Um, but we are going to drive about an hour, so we're going to go to Bixby Bridge, we're going to go to McQuay Falls, drive back up um, to Monterey and then drive inland, aren't we? Because yes. we wanted to spend more time doing Pacific Coast Highway um, because we just absolutely loved it last time but unfortunately due to the wet winter they had some of the landslides just haven't been fixed yet so um but we will go down so far turn around go back up and then go inland tomorrow bay yeah they were doing well they were doing well on it until the hurricane hit the west coast and then i think they got put back over no it was before the hurricane oh, was it yeah it was before the hurricane i think there was another landslide but the hurricane definitely wouldn't have helped so if they'd, if they'd have got that far the hurricane probably would have put a hitch in it anyway well let's be honest california needed a lot of rain after the wildfires it's been having so yeah um so then from morrow bay again we haven't got any plans so we're just gonna like chill out we went to morrow bay last time and we got there quite late so we just ate and went to bed and we thought this is somewhere that like we could yeah. do with spending the day really so that's what we're doing um, from Morrow Bay, we'll be leaving super, super, super early to get to Santa Barbara and we are doing a hike in Santa Barbara to a hot spring. Um, it gets quite busy, so we want to get to the hot spring quite early, don't we? Yeah. Hike up there, spend some time in the actual hot spring and then hike back down, um, go back to the hotel, get showered and changed and again just... Find something to eat and some evening entertainment, yeah. basically. Well, oh no, that's the next night, but yeah. So we've got like that in Santa Barbara, which would be nice. And then from Santa Barbara, we'll be leaving early again because we're driving from Santa Barbara to Long Beach to go to an aquarium, but we're staying in Santa Monica. Um, and then, again, once we've been to the aquarium, we haven't really got many plans, but we've got food planned and hopefully to watch the New York Giants. Um, but that's it for Santa Monica again. We're just going to go to the pier, um, either walk down or cycle down yeah. or skate down or whatever to Venice Beach. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Um, and again, spend some time there, see all like the skateboarders, and um, yeah, it'll just be cool to enjoy that. It just like all that sort of like area just reminds me of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like, I don't know why, it just that's what makes me think about the Red Hot Chili Peppers, so you know. So, then from Santa Monica, we will be going from there actually to into LA and spending five nights in LA. We've got an Airbnb in LA. Um, which we're really excited about, aren't we? It's in Laurel Canyon. Yes. Um, and you know more about the history of Laurel Canyon than I do, so because you've looked into it, a bit, haven't you? Yeah, it's basically a little tiny area in the Hollywood Hills where, in the sixties, late sixties and early seventies, a hell of a lot of musicians lived. So there's a Jim Morrison house where he lived with his wife for a while. There's um, mamas, mamas and papas lived there. There's, there's literally all kinds. Janis Joplin. Janis it? Joplin. Yeah. There's the Beatles stayed there. Yeah, there's there's lo If you look, there's actually a, a documentary called Laurel Canyon. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a three parter, which I haven't watched all of it, but it's literally, basically, there's just music history everywhere mm -hmm. in that little area, and they all just because it was so cheap compared to the actual Hol uh, Hollywood like Hills. West Hollywood. They that. just sort of just rented cheap houses and just went round to everyone's house and. Um, got high and made music <laughs> and it's just a cool little area so I was made up when we when I realised where we were. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's cool. So that's what we're doing. So obviously when we're in LA we're going to Universal, we're doing the War we're doing Universal, the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. We're doing some of the museums. Um, we've got a day when we're going um, to do filming locations, um, yes. which we're really excited about aren't we? Yes. And then 
that's pretty much it. And then we'll do like Walt Disney stuff. We're going to when we went to 2016, we're going to we went to Walt's grave, which was probably the most emotional I've ever been in my entire life. Um, so we will be going back there, won't we? We're probably yes. not going to film that out of respect because it's. No, we may we may sort of show you where it is and how to find his grave, but we're not going to go up to the grave with the camera. I don't no, think. no, we won't do that. Plus, I will be crying. So, um, yeah, just because there's a lot of people there, obviously visiting family and stuff. Yes, um, yeah, yeah. So we probably won't film that portion, of it, but that's what we will be doing. Um, go to the merry-go-round at Griffith Park. Obviously, yes. we're up for of Disneyland. Um, if we've got time, we'll go to the observatory. Yeah, we have time we haven't there. got it planned, but if we have got time, then we will do that. Yeah. Um, it's jam packed in LA, basically, isn't it? Yes, pretty yeah. jam packed. So the day we do the museums, we've got two museums, and then we're doing a rock and walk tour, yes. aren't we? Um, and that is literally from ten until eight. So we've got like three hours in each museum, and then we're doing the rock and walk tour straight after. So that is a very busy day, and then we're we'll eat somewhere. We're thinking yeah, Rainbow Room, Rainbow or, room or um, Mel's Diner or somewhere like, yeah. cool that's got a bit of history. Somewhere on Sunset Street. Yeah, yeah, like Sunset that. So, Bar, um, so that's, that's the plans for LA and then from LA we're driving to Anaheim and we're going straight to Knottsbury Farm so we're spending the day at Knottsbury Farm as soon as we leave LA um, and that is the 17th which is a very exciting day because that is the day that Jay and Nick also arrive in Anaheim. Um, accidentally we were staying in the same hotel, not that we're stalkers or anything, but we're staying in the same hotel and we've all got, they've got five days in Disneyland, so the day we were at Knott's Bree, I think they're doing Disneyland, yeah. um, and then we've got four days in Disneyland together, um, and then we fly home together too. Yes. So that's very exciting, we've got a few plans with them, um, going to uh, dinner on the first night that we're all there together aren't we yeah um, and then we've got a couple of breakfast plans um obviously like ogres and things like that together yeah there'll be all kinds of stuff in there Tra buggy obviously trade the joes obviously we're going to halloween horror nights as well i don't oh, know how i skip past yes, that but yeah. we're going to halloween horror nights which we are so excited for because there's a stranger things house there's a last of us house we've recently watched the new um Evil Dead film, which was yeah. freaky, really like good. really good. so good, like surprisingly good. So we're doing that. We're doing um, Oogie Boogie Bash as well, again, which we're excited about. Um, really excited to see Ernesto de la Cruz. Like when we went to Mickey's Not So Scary, it was just I want to see Elvis Stitch. I don't care what we do as long as we see Elvis Stitch. And now I'm like, we're going to see Ernesto de la Cruz. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, isn't it? Yeah. There'll be merch in there. There'll be food in there. There'll be lots of food. Walmart, Trader Joe's, whatever shop that we find interested on the way, or little. We, we're also we've, we've got we've got a spirit Halloween plan as well. Oh yeah, like that's, Halloween. That's absolutely a must for us now, isn't it? Like oh, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like so. We've literally we found one in Santa Monica, haven't we? So we yes. will be if we find others on the way, we'll probably go into other ones. But we are specifically found one in Santa Monica to definitely do that one. Yeah. Well, that's it. We are literally. I'm off today, tomorrow, and we've got literally two jam-packed full days, haven't we? Because then I'm working Friday, Saturday, and travel to Heathrow Sunday. Um, so we are jam-packed full. I've got two nights, and then tonight, tomorrow night, and then that's it. Yeah. How exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> We're a bit, like, giddy at the moment, because, like, we've been waiting so long, and not that I've been going slow, but, like, so much has happened. It's been a big year, haven't it? So much has happened yeah. since we've booked this. Um, because I don't think we started booking it really until we started looking in maybe like February, March. Yeah. Maybe January, February, March. But like, uh, it's just been a lot, hasn't it? Yes. Um, good things. My little sister had a baby and he is the coolest thing in the entire world, apart from Doug, who's ran away. Um, but like, yeah, he's just awesome. Yeah, he is cool. And amongst other things as well. But we've been very busy, so this is a gazillion percent needed, doesn't it? Oh yeah, 100% yeah. I'm sure we'll need another holiday after the end of this because it's a busy one. Yeah, and we're basically straight back into work. We, so, go on. I was going to say that we haven't got much downtime no. on, on this holiday at all. Oh, absolutely not. We're, we're, hopefully we'll have a bit of beach time in Santa Cruz, a bit of beach time in Santa Monica, a bit of beach time in Santa Barbara. Yeah, um, I think the Disney days we may also, depending on how late they're open, we may spend Midnight! Time. Disneyland oh. is open till midnight. So we'll split up and have a couple of hours by the pool as well, probably. But Me and Jamie have got pool plans. 
that you and Nick don't know about. Alright, what is it? I'm not telling you. You'll be surprised. Is it a budgie smuggler? No, 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 it's not though. No. But me and Jamie have got, I mean, you'll know because I've got to buy something en route to Anaheim for it. Big massive blow up thing? No. Oh. But anyway, we're going to Disneyland. I'm so excited. And the rest of California, like, because if you've not been to California, it's expensive. It's a lot more expensive than a Walt Disney World holiday would be for two people depending on how you do Walt Disney World that is. Yes. Um, but it is so, so, so worth it, isn't it? Yeah. So worth it. San Francisco, I can't explain it. It's just cool. I can't explain it. It, I don't know. It's just, it's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I and mean, last time we skipped LA completely, didn't we? So we went, Yeah. Um, we went for less time and we had Vegas included in it last time so we skipped LA we just did Universal in Disneyland. I'm a bit um, gutted when I go to Vegas at the end still a bit gutted but we've not done LA so we have to do LA. Yeah but yeah that is basically it that is our plans so when you are watching this like I said we'll be we'll we will be in Heathrow Airport ready to go. Our flight's not till two o'clock in the afternoon yes. but um with BA. With BA yeah but we thought we like to start our holiday the day before. Not that being sat in a hotel is a holiday, but, but it is, as far as I'm concerned. Well, the, like, hotel, the, ho the hotel looks decent, so we'll have a meal in the hotel, a couple of drinks, because we're, we're going to be there probably by five o'clock in the evening, evening. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be nice and relaxed instead of like, oh, we're going to get there and then, oh, yeah. we're going to get the airport first thing. It's just going to be nice yeah. and chilled. Because normally we get there, like, we're like, right, we get food, then we have to go to bed early, and like, yeah. you know. Get, get a good night's sleep because we've got a long travel day but that's not the case this time I mean we have got a long travel day it's 11 hour flight but um, it's not going to be rushing we just got cut off because we have like a filming limit so I think we're saying we haven't got to get to the airport for 6am um, this time we literally will be leaving the hotel at like yeah. 10 probably to get to the airport um, but yeah that is it also our broom mugs are breaking so <laughs> different note yeah the 50th mugs, two of them are broke. Like, just one, cracked. One cracked completely, um, and one of them is cracked on the handle, yeah. We haven't even had those a year. But Sorry, my head's cut off there. But yeah, that is it, basically. Um, that is everything. We're going to try and vlog as much as physically possible. Um, it's going to be a long set of vlogs because it's 18 nights. We'll probably do some in two parts, some in one. Um, depending yes. on what we're doing. The Disneyland ones I'd imagine will be in two because like I said, um, Disneyland opens at like eight in the morning and closes at midnight and DCA is closing at 11. So There may even be three parters because on one day we're doing the Peterson Museum, the uh, Academy Award Museum and then the Rock and Roll Tour. And then tour. the Rock and Walk Tour, yeah. So yeah. if that is all loads of stuff, then the two museums might be in one, but if the, if, if it's big enough, then yeah, we'll do three. Yeah, we'll do three. Yeah. Like the Walt, like, I don't know, the Walt Disney Family Museum, I could probably film every single thing in there. You won't, because it'll be boring for some people, but I definitely could. But anyway, that's it, because we've been banging on and banging yes. on and banging on now. So we are going to go. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Peace out.